Say hello, sleepy girl. Mwah. Alrighty, so we're getting into brass tacks here. I was gonna have a video mostly done by the end of this weekend, but this stuff wasn't working. Basically, what I'm doing here is I've got a little coil meter, um, and when you run a current through it, it'll swing the needle back and forth. And basically, I wanna be able to both swing it this way, positive current, and this way, negative current. In order for this to swing back and forth, I'm gonna need a positive and a negative voltage, but all I have are batteries that are positive and wall outlets that are positive to zero. And so I've been trying to figure out how to make a positive and negative in a neutral terminal. We're gonna end up in a bit of semantics here because technically the only thing that matters in voltage is the difference. So like any voltage could be zero voltage. So basically what I'm trying to do is get three different terminals such that uh, the difference between the outer two will always be double the difference between this one and this one and this one and this one. This was a boost converter that I spent like seven takes calling a buck converter because I don't know up from down. It can take and, as the name implies, boost the voltage of the input. So basically I'll input at a certain voltage and then I can tune this potentiometer to get a different output voltage that it will hold constant at. I got one hooked up. Here's just got some wall power. Here it is plugged up to the input terminals where set to times 30, which means this three is we're using this bottom three scale and we're multiplying it by 10. So we see 1.2 or times 10 is 12 volts. It does say output nine volts. So I don't know what that is. This is me also appealing to people on the internet being smarter than me. I have no idea what happens if I flip the inputs and I'm a little scared to try, but I have five of these. So I'm gonna try and just see what happens. I'm gonna switch these wires and off screen, I'll just tell you as I do it, and we'll we'll see what that does. So, negative is into the positive, nothing happens. So test one, you can't switch the inputs to get a negative output. That's kind of, it's one of the, th it's like math, you're like me, if I multiply it by negative one, it'll be negative, but this is enough magic that that's not exactly what happens. So that's okay. So again, I got a second one and I got the first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook them both up so they're getting power from the same thing, but then attach this guy's positive to this guy's negative. I just plugged this guy into power and he did spark. So we'll see if that works. Okay, now this is good. This guy is working and it sparked when I plugged it in again, which means I think the sparking is just part of its working. Here from the other converter, we're getting 15. Now here comes the funky part part that may just blow up the circuits. I'm gonna plug this in to 20 and I might lose a hand. So I'm hoping that the differences are the same, i.e. this guy here, this guy there. Hmm. Boy, that's tricky. Okay. Input is still reading 12 volts. Whoa. Okay, so. This is bridging the positive of the first, you know, those are not on the same row. Okay. Buck converter, it's got this positive and this negative coming in. I connected both negatives. And so this is negative, it's two positives. I actually don't know if this helps me. All right, cause if I got two positive terminals, no, I think I want them to flow in the same direction. I don't think this works. God, I've done this like 30 times with this project. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I found a circuit that'll do what I want it to do, and it won't do what I want it to do. See, this is not great because ideally it would work. I think the problem is, is that they're referencing some sort of general ground with the circuit. Okay, this setup is stupid, and I'll tell you why. So I'm measuring the voltage between the positive of the boost converter and the positive of the input, which should be a delta of about three if we're getting 12 in and 15 out. Uh, yeah, that's three volts. I think I might be able to do this one converter and then the input. And so it'll be an input of 12 and then I'll have a boost to 24 and I'll treat 12 as neutral, zero as negative 12 and the boost is positive 12. I think I cheesed it. I've got this positive and negative rail are literally just hooked up to that uh, wall wart. We're gonna squint and call it 12. If we use this newly dubbed top positive rail, we get about 24 volts. 
And hopefully, if we have the top rail there and this guy here, we get about 12 volts again. All right, so when I plug this in, this positive bar will be at 12 volts and this one will be at zero. And then this top one will be boosted to 24. This switch in this position will read the zero to the 12 or the 24 to the 12, which means the delta here, negative voltage, negative 12, positive 12 through this meter. I'm gonna plug in the battery. Okay, close one way and then the other way. So there you go. I used a boost converter. It gets a little stuck because it's not meant to be thrown with the, the full might of Zeus. Uh, but yeah, that works. That, that works. I can control from a positive 12 volt to a negative 12 volt with just the one connection. Now I wanted it to look good and be really simple for the video and one switch is one thing. So anyway, Asa, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next Wednesday since there's a schedule now.